Hello and welcome to a supplementary video on installing Django. Now, normally in this class, all of the um, applications are going to be run on this uh, MDN, uh, on this Python Anywhere, but it turns out that maybe you don't want to get a Python Anywhere account and you want to just run this locally on your local computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. I'm going to show you a Mac, but the PC is very similar. So the problem that you have is, so here I, here I have um, a Django application sitting here in my test site, and then I can say Python 3, Python 3, manage, and then a run server. Right, and so it starts up and it tells me, look at that, I can talk to HTTP 127.0. And so that works. So I'm talking to this application and you can even see that it's talking. One of the nice things about running things locally is some of the logs that you have to go into Python Anywhere to look, you're just seeing them go by, including like, you know, the errors, etc. And so some ways, and this is reasonable, but I, I prefer Python Anywhere because then folks can... Uh, don't really need to install stuff and people's install environments gets messed up and so but if you're skilled and you want to run this on your own server I want to show you how to do this so we did it but the problem comes out when we use the auto grader and so we have this document about how to use the auto grader with a thing called ngrok and so let's take a look it's easiest to just explain this oh they don't have the picture on here anymore so how it, oh, how it works. So the, the problem is, is that in effect, um, I am this auto grader out here and I need to talk to your computer, but your computer has a firewall built in, which means I can't make a direct connection. When you're talking to localhost, like this right here, that's 127.0.0.1 or localhost, you're talking, the browser's running on your computer and the server's running on your computer and it's working okay. What NGROC does is it effectively punches a hole, outbound temporary hole through the firewall, and then my auto grader out here can connect to NGROC, and then the NGROC software forwards requests back and forth so that my software can grade your homework sitting on your computer. It's quite nice. And, um, and so you can download it and you can install it, and I got some instructions on how to do this. Okay. So the simple thing here is this command right here. Now I've got ngrok installed in a way that it's just um, sitting there. And so if I say ngrok HTTP, that's the protocol we're doing, at 8000. What that says is connect locally to port 8000 on my computer and then export it up into the world of ngrok and give me a temporary, temporary domain. And so I'm going to grab this temporary domain if you start it, this is going to change. This is what's going on locally, and this is what's going on sort of globally. Now, on your computer, both the local and the global work, but it should be the same thing. So this is a URL, a real live URL, and it is basically a clone of this. And you can actually see the things that are happening here. And there's even a really cool, if I go like this, there's an, even a really cool thing that allows you to inspect, inspect this as it's going back and forth, right? So that's... It's going back and forth. So it's really nice. And as developers, you probably want to learn how to use ngrok. And, and so I, I don't think it's a bad thing for you to use ngrok. It's just I think the average student, there's a lot more moving parts here. But we've got this document on how to run ngrok, and it talks about it. It's pretty simple. It just says, you know, start it. It doesn't matter what folder you're in. Um, and then you get this temporary page and the, your local host and your... Uh, and Grok should be the same, basically. Now, what's cool about this is now you can take this URL right here, and then you can uh, give that to the auto grader, right? So now, well, let's first go to this URL, localhost 8000. We'll see what this does. It'll probably blow my auto grader up terribly. It's like, oh, I got it running here, localhost 8000. So 127.0.0.1 is localhost. It's going to be like splat. So it can't, because this is running out in the real internet. It's, uh, yeah, I remember the picture somewhere, how it works, right? So this auto grader is out here, and it can't connect to localhost. There's an infinite number of localhosts, so it can't connect to localhost. So it freaks out, okay? So that's not going to work. But if, on the other hand, I take this URL, which is exactly the same thing, except now it's a real URL, and I submit this, to the auto grader, 
See, that's HTTP. Now it works. And the auto grader can work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so there's, it, it found it, it got it loaded the page, and install worked. Something went wrong with the uh, static admin font CSS. So I don't have that quite right, but, uh, but away you go. So th this is not so much about getting this thing working. This is about using Ngrok to get your application submitted to my auto grader while your application is running. And like I said, you get to see lots of little log files and you get this and you can inspect this with Ngrok. So there's a lot of really nice features to, uh, to using Ngrok. Um, and again, it's optional, but you'll notice that all of the walkthroughs that I do, I'm using Python anywhere because I think that is on average much simpler for the average student, at least when you're getting started. Okay, cheers.